Hello, this is Irina Benedict and today I'm here to talk to you about how to energize your business. This is the topic of the month, the topic of the year for me because last year I found myself tired and I felt trapped in my business and this year my word of the year is fun. So the question I ask myself is how can I have fun and how can I energize myself back to the passionate and to the joyous person that started this journey and how to energize my business so my business uh, keeps doing well and keeps attracting people, wonderful people who need my support. So. The first step in energizing your business is about coming back, bringing back that passion, bringing back what have you thought about when you first started your business? What was your intention? Why did you start your business? To bring back that desire, that spark, so you can progress and you can have fun with it and if you like me got to be tired or feeling trapped into your business it is probably because you worked long hours it is because maybe you wanted to be further along that you were and you gave yourself a hard time for not being there this this is what I've done so when we look at our business, of course, a business needs to make money. That's the purpose and that's how we're going to stay committed to our purpose by bringing income in and being able to build the lifestyle that we um, wanted to create. But in my case, I don't know, in your case, in my case, I have, I have a good business, but it was not where I thought I wanted to be and that's where I had felt that, that dissatisfaction. So when with this year I was thinking, okay, let me regroup and let me come back to having fun because that is the whole purpose of leaving a secure job and um, choosing the adventure that we chose. So I said, let me group, regroup back and see what is it? Why did I start it on this journey anyway? Because if I wanted um, a regular paycheck, secure vacations, I, I would have stayed in a corporate job. So I invite you to come back to the idea. What were you dreaming about five years ago? I don't know how long ago you started your business. So what did you dream about? in the moment before starting your business? What was important to you? Why did you say, hey, I'm going to take matters into my own hands and I'm going to start this business because? And, and I invite you to dig deep down and to actually remember what were your thought process? And if this helps you, I'll give you my case. So in my case, nine years ago, actually, more than nine years ago, I think would be like 13 years ago, even if longer than that, we had this dream to live in nature, to have a place where we feel like in a park, where we can walk every day, when we can wake up to the song of the birds and, uh, and have the fresh air and, and have this ability to create something that is self-sustainable and that was our dream and if you look at how I felt last year it was as if nothing of this mattered but in fact we are living our dream we are on this beautiful 84 acres of land we have built our off-grid house and we are planning for some animals in the field so there is nothing that we started with that it's not being accomplished right now. It's just my idea of what I should be by now. So it's very tricky to, to lose sight of your initial thought, of your initial 
desire. Also, my desire was that um, me and my husband were getting, being very close and by working together, by being together here, that that relationship is is very close, which in fact we didn't have, like we always had a good marriage, but when I was in corporate, he was in corporate, I was tired and we didn't see each other except the weekends. And then when we saw each other in the weekends, we said, okay, let's go to a park. And now we live in a park. We, we see this every day, like today he already went and um, was out with the dogs and he brought wood into the house. Soon I will go for a walk and I'll, I'll take the dog or I'll just walk and meditate and hug trees. So when, when I think of, of the origin of my desire to go on my own, they're still there. My, my second big reason was let me live my dreams so then I can inspire other people to live their dreams. And I want to tell you every time I meet people, they know me. I went uh, to Florida the, like last month and I was with 2,300 people at the Tony Robbins uh, Business Mastery event and there were people coming to me and said, hey, hi, Rina, how are you? Remember we were together in this and that? And I felt really touched because, you know, like staying here in my little world, I feel that maybe I'm not influencing as much as I want to. But then when I go out in Florida, like I'm from Canada, like in a place that is far away from where I am, and people come to me and say, hey, how are you? How's your land? What are you building? What are you doing? I felt like really, really touched because I do inspire people with what I do. And, and I want to keep inspiring. So me giving myself such a hard time last year and feeling unsuccessful, it's really not true. And I know if you're anything like me, if you're an achiever, if you're a driver, if you want to do good into the world, maybe you have the same, the same bad habit of being hard on, where you, on yourself and not being happy with where you are. So this is... What I want you to do is to come back to remember the reason for which you started the business. And when you remember that and when you look at your life right now, I would, I would guess that it's much closer than what you think in a day to day because we have this habit of only looking at the things that we haven't done, that are not there, that we haven't accomplished and we lose sight of the many many things that we did accomplish so let me know in the comments please please let me know in the comments how do you feel when you remember what what was the reason for you to start the business for and also to tell me if uh, my guess is correct and you do give yourself a hard time for not being further along if you like the video Please like it, please share it. Help me help me bring more people on to the path of living their dreams and building a business that supports their purpose and brings abundance and joy into their lives. So until next time, sending you blessings.